Oh, that's it. Go on. See, where's it at? Right there. Maybe I can just kill it right here. Oh. Hello, everyone. Also here from RVT. Uh, today I'm gonna be feeding the bees um, with the one-to-one -one sugar mixture and the uh, David Burns recipe uh, for the brood, so they can do good over the uh, the winter, or they can start preparing for the winter. And um, and I'll, everything that I use here, I'm gonna list it on the description down below. I'm also gonna be trying the banana. I let this banana go on purpose, uh, so. I can feed it to them, see how they do on that. I know that a lot of beekeepers, or there's a, some people say that, not beekeepers, but some people say that uh, the pheromones that the bee, when they sting, that they leave this bananas, you know, smell. But uh, they hasn't proven that it does, does not, does not right. That's just, that's incorrect. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them the banana and see how they do with that if they eat it or not so I'm gonna put it in there today and then next time I'm gonna check on it to see how they how they if they ate it or not um, so I'm gonna go ahead with over there to the hive and then uh, and then show you how I feed and on the last video I show you the feeder that I built it's gonna be up there on the top right it's for the uh, lanes hive feeder one of a kind and uh, I'm gonna go and check to see and actually I already fed them one so you don't have to check if it works or not I know it does work I fed them already twice two quarts each each time it was like halfway but this time I filled it all the way up to, with two quarts but uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead to the let's go ahead we're going over here to the hive and then show you that all right so here we are at the hive First things first, I'm gonna check to see uh, the bees, how they doing, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the the uh, honey, the honey, <laughs> the water sugar mixture here. So we had a storm over the weekend, and this this stand did pretty good. Uh, it didn't fall down or nothing. My ladder, I left it back there around the corner where the trap is. I left it right there and it fell down. And uh, yeah, it was there was like high winds over the over the uh, Friday, and it held pretty good. So okay, this one still looks empty. Nothing here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Let me get my little bit of smoke. I haven't, you know, I don't usually. I think they get more agitated when I put smoke on them. These bees are usually pretty, pretty good, you know, without the smoke. Got some more capped honey there. So, yeah, I'm going to give them more of that water sugar mixture so they can go ahead and fill, out, fill everything up. This side looks pretty empty, except for uh, some cells right here. And there's a beetle right there. I, I actually got a little thing so I can grab them. And I left it over there. Uh, so I can just kind of get them and and kill them at the same time. Where's it at? Uh, kind of hard. Oh, there it is. 
right there in that cell. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, there's another one right there. So you, uh, I already opened it, so I don't want to irritate the uh, the bee so much. Oh, that's it. One. See, where's it at? Oh, right there. Maybe I can just kill it right here. Got him. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back, back the same way I got it. I didn't bring my uh, my tripod so I can put my camera on there. So this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> I should have brought that too. Well, oh, this one looks. This one feels a little bit heavier. It looks like they have nectar in there. A lot of nectar. Nothing is capped though. Over here is there's more capped nectar. So that's good. Yeah, that one is a little bit heavier. Usually the queen hangs on this frame. I don't see it on this side. I don't see her on this side. I see a lot of... Uh, there's a couple of flies there flying. <laughs> They're probably smelling the banana. Nope, you get it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take that one out because I know the queen hangs in that head, in that frame. I don't see her from here, but I see some uh, some brood there. Which is good. See more brood on the other side. So the queen should be in one of these frames. She's probably on this frame. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah, she's she's doing pretty good. I can see the the brood on both both sides. Um, I don't know if you remember on this frame. I mean, there was no frame here, but I did transfer the wax from uh, from the little piece of wood that I had here into this frame because they were building their they're holding for dear life over here and it's kind of hard to see through this thing but they've just been <laughs> holding themselves there There's some cat honey, honey on this side too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put it back together and then lay down the banana and then come back with you and uh, and I'll show you when I put down the banana. I'm gonna put it down on the on the bottom area of the of the hive. 
All right, so I just kind of like put the banana down there. Uh, there are flies in there. So I'm gonna close it up before more flies get attracted to it. Um, hopefully the the bees would defend their, I mean the flies cannot hurt, hurt the uh, the bees, so I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them in there. As you can see it's down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to go ahead and close them up. Alright. So they have that now. Next step, I'm going to do the uh, sugar water mixture. See if I can do this with one hand. Cause it's kind of heavy. There it is. So, hopefully they'll get all of that and uh, take it to their to their comb and uh, fill it up. You know, or eat it or whatever they kind of do and uh and then uh see if they can make more brood more more bees and and survive the, the uh, winter i mean it's still we still have some ways you know over here in uh north texas they uh it doesn't get like really really cold until like january or something i mean that cools down you know at night time but uh yeah we won't have like a really freezing cold until like january february um sometimes december but all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and call this video it's kind of short you know but i wanted to show you the update on on the hive and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this bee stuff <laughs> as i am and uh, if you don't mind, just hit the like and subscribe to the channel. I'm still trying to get to, to 1,000 subscribers. If you help me out on that, it's free. <laughs> uh, you know, you don't have to be bothered. You don't have to click the bell, you know, to get bothered by my videos. I don't put a lot of videos out there, so it, it shouldn't be that, that big of an issue like, you know, like other YouTubers. But they put a bunch of videos out there. You get notifications like if twice or three times a week not me <laughs> I do it once in a while so um, but like I said you know and if you want to see sneak peek preview before YouTube make sure you follow me on Instagram and uh, and again thank you all for the support and thank you for thank you for watching